Hey everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. I know I've been missing in action. I just wanted to share one last quilting video because I finished the quilt I gifted to my mother-in-law already. So let me go through. This is all gonna be voiceover for this one. I'm doing the worst part for me. Some people say the worst part for them is the binding. For me, it's actually preparing the sandwich. So I have joined two pieces of beige fabric and this is the quilt top that I completed. And it took me over an hour to prepare this because you have to size it and go around. It's a fairly large quilt. It's uh, 62 by 62, I think. I'm using an old cotton batting and uh, it's, let me tell you, the sandwich, I'll say it again, is the worst part. So you basically have to make it flat. You gotta make sure you've got enough length on either side. I have to make sure I have some extra so that you can account for the fabric shifting and hopefully no puckering in the back. So here we go, you're cutting and you're cutting some more and then you gotta reposition it. So now I'm finally making the sandwich. I have the back that's beige. I have the cotton batting in the middle. I'm gonna put my quilt top back on and now I have to recut again to make sure that I have everything nicely sandwiched and I have enough fabric on all sides. So you see, you have to have some batting overlapping uh, and some of the back fabric that's overlapping as well. And again, this is to account for fabric that's going to shift, but you wanna make sure that everything is nice and flat. And here we go, we're just gonna cut all of this and I'm just cutting the back at about an extra two inches off from the top all around. So once that's done, there's several methods that you can use. I pin, at least I do that for now, I'm just using safety pin. And to be honest, I don't think this is the best. Um, I'm going to do, the next time around, I'm going to do the bedding spray or basting spray, I think they call it. Um, because this is just, there's not enough pins and I did have some puckering, but along the edges, not in the middle. So here we go, I'm at the machine, and for this quilt, I'm just doing a meandering um, throughout the entire quilt, except for the stars, and I'll show you later on what I'm doing for the stars. So I'm using my brother machine to do this. This is my regular um, quilting foot. To be honest, the machine itself doesn't have a very large throat, so I have to manipulate the fabric a lot. So this is what I'm doing. You see, I'm just doing meandering. I'm trying to not crisscross because you're not supposed to, but it's just basically like doodling. And every time you shift to move the fabric, you gotta make sure that it's nicely flat, in particular the one in the back. So I'm using some quilting gloves because it helps moving the fabric around. And I hope you can see the pattern that I'm doing here with all those little squiggles all around it. Yeah, so it's a lot. It took about 12 hours to quilt the entire top that way with that little meandering pattern. And then I used the stitch in the ditch foot, which is the one right here. And I did all of the outer border and I went into the ditch basically. Um, so what it does is that it helps secure the edges of the quilt and it's not difficult to do. You just gotta go slow and go directly into the seam. Um, sometimes I went off a little bit by, I don't know, less than an eighth of an inch. But you have to be careful, don't go too fast. So I did this side and I did the other side. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Right, and this is basically what it looks like when you stitch in the ditch. So the stitching is right in between the seams. So I did the same thing for the large stars. All the large stars, I went around the outer edges of the stars. And I don't know if you can see here, but I did not do the doodling on the stars, the little meandering pattern. I left that blank. So I'm just doing the stitch in the ditch 
on the star edges and you see I have to manipulate the fabric a lot because it's very bulky and I didn't realize the throat of this machine was going to be that small but you know what I managed so if you have a domestic machine like mine um, either a brother or baby lock you can do up to a 62 by 62 quilt um, you just have to you know manipulate your fabric a lot I'm just gonna keep going flattening the fabric as I go along So once that was done, this is basically what it looks like on the back. So you see I have all that meandering pattern surrounding the stars and you can see the band at the bottom where I stitched in the ditch and the star pattern is showing as a negative image on the back. So now I have my walking foot and I'm doing the stippling along the edges and that's basically semi-parallel lines all around until you reach the end. You just keep going. Now this is the part where I actually messed up a little bit because I did have some puckering and that's only because I remove all the pins and lesson learned next time around I'll make sure all the pins stay in there so I'm preparing the binding and I have other videos where I explain how to do that so if you want to check out the um, playing list full of my quilting video I explain how to do the binding so I chose this brown fabric and to do the binding it's not difficult you just put one band after another to create a very very long ribbon that's going to be going all around your quilt so you just join them like this you crisscross them and then you stitch straight from one corner to the other in a diagonal. And once that's done, you cut off the edges and when you flip it the other way, you see you have a diagonal joint right there and that gives you a very long ribbon. And this is another part that I don't particularly care for, is when you have to iron flat the entire ribbon, but you have to fold it in half. You see how I'm doing that? So you have to do that for the entire length. And remember the quilt is 62 by 62. So that's a lot. Okay, so that's 62 inches times four of one single piece of ribbon that you have to fold in half. But here we are ready to assemble it. So I'm doing it on the front with the machine, just a straight line. I'm trying to keep it equidistant throughout. So it's at about a quarter of an inch from the edges of the quilt. Got to make sure you stay straight because otherwise it starts curving and that's how you get the edges of your quilt making little um, waves. So there it is. Then you just flip it over and you flip it over one more time to the other side and this is the side that you do by hand and that takes a while too. So I just spent about three days um, doing this and I did the whole back of the quilt with hand stitches. So yeah, it does take a while. So all together I've calculated and this quilt took about um, between 70 and 72 hours to make. The longest part of course is the hand binding, which I'm doing right now. And then the piecing together, it takes about one hour per square, but here's my mother-in-law receiving her quilt. And let me tell you, she absolutely loved it. So I don't know if you notice on this picture, but there's not a single star or single block that is the repeat of another. I purposely did that by design. I did not want a classic quilt with a repeat pattern. It's the same, well, it's the same pattern, but it's not the repeat colors. So there's not a single one that is the same. And I really, really like it. So this was a very nice project to make. I'm ready to move on to my next quilt. I'm probably gonna film some of that, but until then, I just wanna let you know that I'm going to resume filming this week, and I'm probably gonna do a whole series for the month of May of things that I have been procrastinating, and the first one, I believe, is going to be to finally do the window treatment in my bedroom. So 
I hope you're looking forward to that new series and until then don't forget to check out other videos on my channel if you're interested in quilting I have a whole playlist and if you're interested in this particular quilt I do show you how to make all the blocks for this particular pattern and where to get the measurements and everything else okay thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later bye